Hey, what's up, guys? It is DJ. Today, we've got a lot to talk about. We got new mods, Steam DB, the FSL, and like six other things. Check it out. Mods were super early today, around 4 a.m. Eastern time. We had 21 mods released on the end game on up, making it 10 days in a row with mods. Well, work days anyway, Monday through Friday. <laughs> I've already made a video showing these off, so make sure you guys check that out if you haven't seen it already. It's tinfoil hat time, and unfortunately, I think I made a dunce hat out of my sheet of aluminum foil as the Steam DB unknown app 2834020, which I can see it in my sleep, is still showing with the last update being 16 days ago. We are all assuming that this is going to be the next DLC for Farm Sub 22, but we've gone four months now without a full DLC, which may even be a new record. I'm still checking daily, but so far, no movement or progress on the Steam DB unknown app. Maybe next week? I don't know, we'll have to wait and find out. But before then, this weekend marks round number seven of the Farming Simulator League Tournament. Season five has been wild, with Team Helm still in a commanding lead, even with a few losses with 480 points, and Linder and New Holland tied for second with 260 each. This weekend's tournament will be live at Cactus in Leipzig, Germany. In person, German casters will be Dropwell and Homer, with Virtual Farmer and Caspicopter rocking the English broadcast online. Livestream starts at 10 a.m. CEST on Saturday, with finals on Sunday. That's going to be 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific time. Pretty early for us here in the United States, but the streams do usually last for around five hours, if not longer. Sometimes, so maybe keep an eye out on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook for these live streams when you wake up. Jumping over to Modern News, 82 Studio went live a few days ago, showing off more progress on the TLX Phantom Semi Truck. The stream was mainly dedicated to the interior details, as well as the fender options and exterior modeling. As always, David takes input from the community to make his mods even better. So make sure you follow him on YouTube. That way you never miss any of his live streams. You never know, you could get one of your ideas or suggestions on his next mod. And as always, tell him DJ sent you. Next up, Agritono shows off their next mod being sent off for testing for all platforms, the John Deere 8030T. This mod's kind of interesting because we first saw it back in October 2022. But nothing said since. Here we are almost 18 months later. Egritono has released plenty of mods in that time frame though, so I don't think we missed out on too much, but it is great to see the 8030T being finished up and ready to head off for testing. Moving on, Classic American Icons modding have added a few more logos to their big buds with Jersey, Washington, and Lady Liberty on the list for more stickers. A few more can be made, but they're still looking for a few other ones that you want to see. So if you don't see your state represented, make sure you let them know. JHHG modding have their fourth and final Teagle collaboration mod with Giants for testing right now. That's the C120 Calibrator. It was sent off for testing last week before Easter, so with the testing list the way it is right now, we should see it on the list maybe early to mid next week. Feels about right. Unfortunately, none of the previous Teagle mods have made it to the mod hub for crossplay or consoles rather, so expect this one to be mod hub PC only as well. More goodies from A Dub Modding and the ABP team with the old Gen Massey buckets heading our way soon. A few more features will be added before sending it off for testing, but at least for right now, we know we're getting two different models one with a grab fork and a regular bucket. The grab fork will have loading wall sides as an option, with the regular bucket having front teeth as an option. They both accept bolt crop and will be for all platforms once released. However, I have no idea what a dub modding is going to be adding. Maybe some colors? That seems about right. And lastly today, Yoast Modding finally revealed what this teaser was for. This is the Husbandry Cleaning Mod for PC, where you will need to clean the animal areas out. Every hour between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. in-game, some manure will be dropped outside the building or fenced area, which has to be cleaned up before midnight, or your animal productivity and health will decrease, just like in previous farms and games. Though, they dropped food, not manure. He decided to do manure instead of food because there's so many different food options that dropping just one of them didn't make any sense. So who it is. The large warning stripes on the sign will also be visible in build mode, that way you know where the cleaning areas will be. Currently the mod supports all base game animal buildings by default, and the mod will include instructions for modders to add this mod to their mods. So that's pretty cool. Yos always kills it with his mods, and this is just another one to add to the list. You rock, dude. And you guys out there rock, just like this segue to the outro. And just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to everything we talked about today can be found in the description. And you can check out the entire video in the form of a news article on farmsomenews.com. Thanks to Yos Modding if you want to read it. Remember, there are no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mods going to be released. And make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on all the biggest news and top stories going on the world of farming simulator well that is it i hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like get subscribed if you do enjoy the gohan fam make sure that notification bell is on as well that way you never miss videos like this one hope you have an awesome weekend happy friday we will see you monday Peace.
real though, 4 a.m. for mods this morning. That was so early. I've already drank a pot and a half of coffee. Mm. 